so everyone and uh, let's note it down everyone please note it down please note it down uh, one is <coughs> yeah everyone please note it down create create vendor master t code guys fk01 fk01 create two vendors you can create guys two vendors two vendors you f can f110 meri em nen em adugutunna meri em cheptunna sir and uh, and post vendor invoice post vendor invoice fb 60 okay and uh, yeah now uh, post vendor payment vendor payment is f110 instead of f-53 instead of f-53 instead of f-53 we want to use f110 we need to use f110 in the place of f-53 okay then later later check check vendor line item item anyone fbl one on on it yeah and later check printing printing yep uh, sorry check printing uh, sp01 or 02 so, so today uh, today this is our target guys today this is our target okay today this is our target please note it down one is vendor master data creation post vendor invoice and run f110 vendor payment in the place of f-53 we want to run f110 f-53 and f110 both are same we can use for the vendor payments okay but f-53 single vendor payment f-110 multiple multiple payments at a time sorry guys i am back it's my bad <coughs> everyone are able to hear my voice are able to see my screen yes sir yes i'm sorry yeah please note it down please note it down this then we will uh, go ahead with configuration please note it down this so i can create two vendors and two vendors invoice like uh, payments let's check the report and check printing everything we need to understand guys very very important ah uh, f110 is a very important done sir done na <coughs> thank you ma'am let's create vendor master data so guys i don't want to explain more and more points creating vendor master data and post vendor invoice everyone knows how to create vendor master data but there is a small changes is happened so please observe one field okay without if you forgot that field then f110 can't run okay so let's see here let's analyze here
yeah <coughs> everyone let's see here go to fk01 go to fk01 and enter your company code and uh, accounts group and press enter so i don't want to explain more information regarding to vendor master data creation everyone knows how to create vendor master data okay so here uh, vendor name vendor name is called uh, uh, any name actually pv underscore zero one private limited private limited this is our vendor name okay <coughs> and here uh, pv uh, ld location at uh, sr nagar sr nagar uh, house number 7845 530073 hyderabad country india region 01 and uh, it's 73 and 73 guys now you concentrate here everyone concentrate here press enter and enter here everyone here so here you want to know here we want to maintain vendor bank details vendor bank details okay so vendor bank country india vendor bank bank key nothing but ifsc code vendor not for our company vendor bank details i want to maintain here example icici icici 001 and uh, bank account number example 9856342356 then account holder nothing but vendor name nothing but vendor name and click on your bank data here bank data so here you you can enter vendor bank address example bank name icici bank and reason 01 street a pv street and city hyderabad branch pv branch okay here you can enter shift code example icici icici 0098 any number any shift code <coughs> and uh, here bank contact number okay then click on here okay so bank bank sorry vendor bank details is a very important guys don't forget that and uh, press enter and enter again <coughs> here guys reconciliation account reconciliation account is and uh, domestic vendors and uh, short key 012 cash management group a1 everyone here one more important field one more important field press enter and uh, terms of payment 0001 everyone <coughs> One of, one of very important field is called payment method payment method okay payment method means c c means check t means bank transfer here this is very important guys don't forget note it down one note note it down one note everyone please note it down one note <coughs> while creating the vendor master data please note it down while creating vendor master data t code fk01 t code fk01 we need to maintain we need to maintain vendor bank details vendor bank details and payment methods uh, 
एंड पेमेंट मेथड्स In case if you forgot this fields F one one zero unable to run. F one one zero unable to run. <coughs> and click on here save. Everyone, can anyone read the note once? Remaining people, please check it out, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, madam. While creating vendor master data, the code FK zero one. We need to maintain vendor bank details and payment methods. In case if you forget these fields, F double one zero unable to run. Yes. <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <coughs> so, uh, and company code again. I am creating one more vendor, guys. I am creating one more vendor. Two vendors you need to create. Why? Because even you can create one vendor also, no problem. But for your understanding purpose, I am creating two vendors. Press enter. One more vendor I am creating. Example PV02, PV02, 02, Private Limited, PV01 and 02, and P. Two LD, like uh, you know, uh, any street, okay? Madapur, house number five six three two one five three double zero seventy two, Hyderabad, country India, region zero one and seventy two and seventy two. And press enter, enter, enter here. Bank details. Don't forget this. Which country? Country India. And here Canara Bank. Canara nine eight nine eight nine zero nine zero. IFSC code. IFSC code. Vendor bank master data. Vendor bank IFSC code means bank key. Vendor bank account number. Example nine zero. One two one two nine zero one two. Any any like vendor bank account number. Account holder means vendor name. PV zero two. And click on here bank data. So here you want to maintain bank name like uh, Canara Bank. Canara Bank region zero one street like uh, you know. Any street, JV Street, JV Street, City Hyderabad, and branch JV branch. Shift code, Canara nine zero seven eight six five. Then click on here. Okay. Press enter. 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 So here reconciliation account. And uh, short key and uh, cash management. Enter and terms of payment. And here payment method. Don't forget this. C and T. C means check payment. T means bank transfer. Press enter, 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 and save. See here two vendors I created. For both vendors, for both vendors, I want to. Both vendors. I want to post vendor invoice. Anyone before going to vendor invoice posting? Anyone? Any doubts? No, na. Very good. So let's post FB sixty. Hare Krishna. Go to SAP FB sixty. Press enter. Two vendors I created, guys.
सो चेक यूर कंपनी कोड फर्स्ट कंपनी कोड इज कॉल्ड एफ एम वन जीरो देन वेंडर लेट्स टेक द वेंडर एंड पी वी वन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डेट पोस्टिंग डेट वॉट एवर डेट यू वॉन्ट एंड वेंडर इन वाइस एंड डबल फोर डबल जीरो थ्री अमाउंट इज वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यूज टैप 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 बिजनेस एरिया टैप 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 प्रॉफिट सेंटर प्रेस एंटर बटन इन द की बोर्ड एंटर अगेन then copy this amount control c paste it here enter again enter then click on here simulate enter and post See here, vendor document has been posted. Go to document and display. Okay, so <clears throat> let's post one more vendor. One more vendor invoice, guys. This is PV zero one private limited. Let's post one more vendor invoice and click on your browse PV zero two. Now you can take zero two on. PV zero two you want to take. Now I'm taking two lakhs. Use tap 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 tap. Business area. Tap 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 tap. Profit center. Press enter button in the keyboard. Enter again. Then copy this amount. Control C and paste it here. Enter again. Enter. Then click on your simulate. Enter. Then post. So here PV zero two. This is the document PV zero two. Yeah. <coughs> Everyone. Let's check the vendor line item. Huh? Everyone, let's check the vendor line item. Go to FBL one n enter and uh, take both uh, invoices. It's like both vendors, both vendors. Then all transactions and execute. Everyone, I'm checking vendor line item. Just now I posted invoice, na. So I am checking line item. This is PV zero one private limited. So I posted vendor invoice one lakh fifty thousand. Now it's an outstanding amount. Open amount. Use page down. Go down. Go down. So this is PV zero two. PV zero two posted vendor invoice two lakh rupees. So this is the two vendors, guys. Two vendors. Sorry, everyone. Basically, is I don't know. Everyone are able to hear my voice? Are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So, guys, what I did, I did successfully posted vendor invoices. I did successfully posted vendor invoice. Now, guys, very very important. Finally, 
the t code as came very very important i want to do vendor payment you can do vendor payment f dash 53 also no problem yes but in the place of f dash 53 everyone once again everyone please confirm once again are able to hear my voice clearly please sir anyone Yes, sir. Yeah, everyone concentrate here. In the place of F-53, I can use F-110. F-110 also used for vendor payments. F-53 also used for vendor payments. But this F-110 is called multiple vendor payments at a time. Even you can pay single vendor also, no problem. In the place of F-110, you can pay single vendor also, no problem. Multiple vendors also, no problem. But F-53 only single vendors. Okay. Everyone concentrate here. Concentrate here. Go to F-110. Everyone. Very important guys. Very important. Go to F-110. Press enter. Ah, guys. Can you please note it down. These tab names. Status tab. Parameters. Free selections. Additional log print out data medium please note it down why because sometimes interviewer will ask the question how many tabs available in f110 what is that Everyone are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Now we can see it. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, please, please. So please note it down. Status tab, parameters, free selections, additional log, print out data medium. Done? Noted? No, sir. One minute. Please, please, ma'am. Done, sir. Done, huh? Everyone, let's try to understand here. Run date. Run date means, example, today date. Today date is called 24-09-2022. Then, identification. Identification, nothing but, here you can set up any up to six digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets alpha numerical for your understanding purpose here you can set up any up to six digit guys for identification okay so here i am set up here fm uh, ap01 app run okay and here now click on your parameters click on your parameters and uh, here Company code FM10. Payment method. How you are doing, how you are do the payment to the vendor. Example, I am doing check payment. And the next payment date, guys, please note it down. Note it down. Put the heading of next payment date. Next payment date. Next payment date means interview question this is the interview question later you can analyze more next to payment date means exam example i am giving 25 09 20 whatever date we are maintained in the next to payment date field whatever date 
we can maintain on next payment date put comma put comma next line up to that date up to that date up to that date that that date up to that date system will pick all vendor outstanding amount automatically system will pick all vendor outstanding amount automatically automatically okay so guys here here give it your company code and payment method next payment date means if always you can give tomorrow date so up to tomorrow whatever outstanding amount have the vendor that amount will pick automatically okay so now here you can give, take the vendors so click on your take the vendor and the more selection so this is the vendor actually otherwise click on your browse let's take the vendor two vendors i have now one is pv01 private limited once again and uh, everyone are able to hear my voice clearly Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Click on your multi selection. Click on your multi selection. And I am taking one more vendor also. I am taking one more vendor also. PV02. I taken two vendors, guys. Two vendors. And click on your OK. So here, two vendors. Okay. Guys, try to understand here as usual document date posting date will pick automatically so here you can give company code then payment method and the next payment date then here you can take vendor if you have single vendor give it here single vendor in case if you have multiple vendors click on your multiple selection then you can give all the vendors how many vendors you want to give you can give it okay then okay everyone concentrate here now go to additional log here go to additional log then here also you can give vendor details from this vendor to this vendor 40 40 to 41 here also you can give vendor numbers now guys you can highlight this radio buttons guys due date check vendors due date want to check and payment method selection all cases and line item line item payment document you can highlight this radio buttons due date check due date means outstanding like you know payment term due date invoice due date payment method selection in all cases payment method nothing but C for check payment and T for bank transfer and line item of payment document line item details okay now guys concentrate here concentrate here now i maintain parameters and additional log then go to status everyone concentrate here concentrate here very important guys click on your status yes and click on your propose proposal start immediately yes now it's running guys press refresh 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 now it's running system is running refresh you can press enter button in the keyboard multiple times refresh press enter button in the keyboard multiple times refresh refresh or otherwise click on this refresh 
so here all the things will come so proposal has been created now click on your payment run payment run then ok so refresh refresh press enter button in the multiple times press enter button in the multiple times press enter 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 otherwise click on here this one refresh see here guys two document has been generated everyone concentrate here let's open new session guys open new session check vendor line item report fbl 1n enter let's take the vendor and all items then execute see here vendor line item has been cleared vendor invoice 2 lakh rupees vendor payment 2 lakh rupees finally vendor outstanding amount 0 pv underscore 0 to vendor so if you double click on uh, zp if you double click on zp click on here here document overview this is the accounting entry pv underscore 0 to private limited account data hdfc outgoing payment vendor account data to hdfc outgoing payment let's check it out one more vendor one more vendor also have na? one more vendor also have na? 40 see here pv underscore 01 private limited kr means vendor invoice zp means vendor payment so you just double click on zp click on your uh, call up document over your screen then same thing pv underscore 01 private limited account data to hdfc outgoing payment vendor account data to hdfc outgoing payment 150000 and 150000 outstanding amount is cleared guys did you remember why system is picking zp did you remember yesterday configuration we maintain zp and zv document types yesterday configuration on the check payment method for country there i maintain zp and zv maybe you people not remember yes i remember yes yes very good very good very good guys now go to again f110 go to again f110 now i want to give check printing i want to maintain check master data sorry check master data already maintained i want to give check printing so i successfully posted pay vendor payment accounting entries then i want to give checks right i want to give check to pv01 private limited i want to give check to pv02 private limited then how you can give the check then uh, how the system will generate the check okay guys concentrate here concentrate here go to print out data medium print out data medium this is the program guys this is the program rff 0 us underscore c same program yesterday on the configuration we maintain where on the c and t c for check t for bank transfer so same program let's open that let's open take new session take new session and go to fb zp enter payment method for country payment method for country payment method in country it's going on browse and click on your position country india so here in india you just double click on check so guys here here zp and zv that is the region zp has picked zp has picked that is the region okay come down come down here guys this is the standard program 
R F F U O U S underscore C. So whatever program you are maintain here, so same program updated in the F one one zero here, here, here. In the F, I am now I am in F one one zero. Now I am in F one one zero. So if I go to print out data medium, based on your configuration, your program will going to update here. Understood, guys? Anyone? Any doubts? Now unmute and speak if you have any doubts. So my vendor outstanding successfully cle cleared. Now my target is to print the check. I want to give the print to the checks. So for that purpose on F110, okay, this is the parameters I successfully done. This is the status I successfully done. Now print out data medium. So here guys, on this program, in the variant, set up here any name. Everyone concentrate here, very important, concentrate here. On this program here, set up here any name as a variant. Example, uh, FM underscore check, CH or CK, whatever, CK, check. This is my name. I set up name like this. Here you can set up any name. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. So FM underscore CK and click on here maintain variant. Maintain variant. And... Uh, all cases then continue all cases and continue so here you want to maintain your house bank and your accounting id and your check lot these details you want to maintain these details you need to maintain so program run date example today date today date is 24 Zero nine twenty twenty two. Identification set up here any identification example FM AP zero one and company code. What is your company code? Paying company code FM one zero. Then payment method C. Then here you want to maintain house bank. House bank. House bank. This is my house bank. Then here you want to maintain your accounting ID. Then here you want to maintain check lot. Did you remember in the check master data we created check lot. Okay. Check lot is called maybe 100. So here. 100 is my check lot 100 and 200 we created the check lots okay so come down come down come down and here print the check what is the printer standard printer lp01 lp01 print immediately and the print payment advice note printer standard printer in the real time your printer name want to take LP01. Everyone, are you there? Everyone, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. We can see it. Yeah, yeah, madam. Thank you. So, here, print advice LP02 and immediately print. Print payment summary LP01. L both are LP01 and LP01. All print immediately. Guys, can you please note it down? Please note it down. Please note it down, guys. What details I maintain, which fields I maintain, please note it down. 
better Please note it down guys. Please note it down everyone. मीन वी नीड टू मेन्टेन सम इनपुट फर् दि प्रिंट चेक प्रिंटिंग पर्पज वी नीड टू मेन्टेन लाइक दिस डीटेल ओके सो हियर यू कैन सेट अप एनी नेम ओके एंड यू कंपनी कोड एंड पेमेंट मेथड हाउस बैंक अकाउंटिंग ऐ डी चेक लॉट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ डीटेल वी नीड टू मेन्टेन एंड प्रिंट इमीडियटली प्रिंट इमीडियटली लाइक दैट यू सेलेक्ट दिस रेडियो बटन printer lp01 print immediately and simply guys everyone concentrate here go back go back everyone concentrate here concentrate here go back and yes save and here you can set up any name if you want set up here any name in the description and save save and go back go here same thing go back everyone concentrate here so i maintain one variant i maintain one variant all the inputs so here in the program and this is the variant so now guys everyone go to status yes and give it your print out just click on your print out click on your print out everyone very important ah huh? click on your print out so now the system is asking one job name so here you can give any name ah huh? example i am giving uh, this is standard it will pick here also you can add anything fm ap01 this is not a standard here you can make give any name then click on your okay see here one job will going to generated like this means you successfully given the print let's see the document first you can check this document check this uh, job how it look like check this job john job was generated now if i click on your print and give it your name and okay if you are okay then one job was successfully generated so how to check this job it is fine or not very simple guys go to systems and the services so this is the activities for check printing the vendor invoice is already clear that is done vendor payment is done now i am doing check printing activities okay so services job and job overview so i need to check job status so how i can how i can system services job and job overview 
and click on your execute so where is that this is the one right fm no go down so you have given that name only fm a001 this name only yeah okay yes sir so it's finished finished means done it's so a green everything is fine okay everything is fine okay do one thing and if it is everything is fine in the green mode so what can i do guys in the last t code in the last t code what you noted guys sp sp01 or sp02 go to sp01 and simply click on your execute so today is my system date showing my system date showing 23rd i believe okay my system showing 23rd why what happened yeah my system showing 23rd actually as per my system uh, so this is the documents has been generated for example first one this one check payment advice and payment summary guys so you just double click on here types on the types you just double click on this document guys double click on this document and this is the sample one this is the sample one okay so use page down button in the keyboard page down use page down button in the keyboard again see here everyone this is the check actually this is the check who is the vendor pv underscore zero one private limited and this is the payment doc document number come down come down this is the details guys as for your program background program this is the details will come dear sir and madam we have settled it the line line items listed below like this so here payment to accounting payment to document number and check number and check date currency inr then amount 150000 is this correct guys is this 150000 only anyone yes sir it is one yes, lakh yes so this is the details will come so you can give the print and uh, let's do the stamp and uh, send your director or prospective authorized person your authorized person will do the sign and send to the bank so this is the document standard sap document so use paste down one more document use paste down button in the keyboard again now this is the f pv underscore zero two come down this is a two lakhs right two lakhs actually it's a two lakhs this is the check number and the document number this is the detail this is the actually checks okay go back go back go back the next one up above one payment advice document we can give some advice document now to the vendor so you just double click on here so this is the payment advice read the heading payment advice vendor details the description will come like this we have settled you can read in case if you want everyone are able to see my screen yes sir we can see sir. thank you ma'am thanks for responding so this is the advice document payment advice and use page down page down and one more payment advice pv underscore zero two that's zero one and zero two advice payment advice this document we need to send courier to our vendors or give to vendors whatever payment advice document okay then go back and the next one is called payment summary payment summary this is the payment summary guys actually so i have two vendors pv underscore zero one and zero two and this is the payment documents numbers payment document numbers and this is the amounts like this is the payment summary look like the details anyone any doubts
No, sir, it's clear. No, thank you, madam. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow with same time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you.